Hey everybody, welcome back again to Seven Mile Hill Sanctuary. Robert and I are privileged to share with you today Mr. James Shawcroft, his career as a junior musher, now aging out because of his age and status. I'll have Robin share with you even a little bit more detailed about his life. So yeah, so James Shawcroft again, he is one of our junior mushers that will be getting out of the junior ID club because of his age and of graduating from high school. He's got some great aspirations of what he's going to be doing in his life from here forward. And we really hope you enjoy what he has to say. God bless. started on this week's adventure make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss any of our adventures I'm James Shawcroft. I got into mushing when some friends of ours, the Wapids, tried out mushing and they invited us to give it a try and when we gave it a try we liked it. We liked it you know, we thought this was a unique thing that we could get into and we got our own dogs and for the first three years I started mushing when I was about six years old and for the first three years of mushing it was mostly sprint races, no more than two to three dogs on the line. My first ever dog race was a one dog race here in Fairbanks in 2013 and I ended up getting first place in that and I still have the award. Perfect. Congratulations. Yeah, I just so happened to win that one before we had any dogs. I won that one with uh, one of the Wapits dogs, but that is when I really fell in love with the sport, just racing with a dog and bonding with a dog. But later down the line, my older sister, Emma, she's run the Junior I Did Rod a couple times and the Willow 100 a couple times. She got into distance racing. We figured out more dogs, distance races. And then we kind of gradually got into that. She ran the Willow 100, and then the year after that, she ran the Willow 100 and the Junior I Did Rod. So from there, I kind of just took over once she was done, and now I'm running the team. And I've had the privilege of running them in their final years of running. Every dog on my team I've been with since some I've raised from puppies, some I've taken in at about five years old, but they're all just his family. My biggest inspiration is my dad. When I was eight, he started bringing me to Dillingham, Alaska to do commercial fishing. And uh, in Dillingham, I learned how to work hard. I learned how to never quit, uh, no matter how hard it gets. And that's another thing that mushing does for me. It, it gets hard, it gets difficult to go on. My first junior I did a rod wasn't easy. I can't say it was easy. My first junior I did a rod, I was trying to sleep at the checkpoint could get any sleep, it was cold, windy, snowy. It was nothing short of difficult, but I was able to push through and just thinking of how hard me and my dad have worked to get to that our team to that point made me realize that I had to finish that race. So I was able to first finish my first junior I did rod with the mentality that things are hard, but if we push through and work hard, we can reach our goals. Nice. Well, after I graduate high school, I'm going to serve a two-year mission for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Praise the Lord! Yeah. Praise the Lord. Gonna do that. That's my brother's bed. He's Praise on one right Lord. now. Praise the Lord! Praise the yeah. Lord! He's on one right now. That's all his stuff. Nice. He gets back in May, so that's pretty exciting. Nice. Um, but I'm going to serve a two-year mission for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And when I get home, I'm going to pursue a career in aviation. I plan to attend... Alaskan Airlines Ascend Flight Academy in Hillsboro, Oregon. 
And there I will receive all my training, become a CFI for a few years, and then finally become a commercial pilot with Alaskan Airlines. And that is as far as I see for now. The tough thing, mushing has been really fun as a kid, but mm -hmm. whether or not I get into it as an adult, I'm not 100% sure. It's definitely something I would like to do again, like like a two-day thing, like I go to a dog kennel and help yeah. out just yeah. to, to take it on a few runs. Whether or not I'll own my own kennel again, I well, don't really know. As much as I would like to tell them how amazing it is, which it is, it is yeah, probably one of the best things I've ever done, uh, mushing, it is hard work. It is hard work, mm -hmm. and it's got to be something that this individual is going to be willing to put in the work because it's not something you can just work halfway on. It's something you have to put your whole, um, all your time to because it's not just like skiing where the skis sit in the garage and when you're ready to ski, you get on the skis and go skiing. You're dealing with a dog team and the dog team is your dog team. They're like your children. You got to care for them. You got to feed them and you got to train them. Mm -hmm. But in the end, it has taught me to work hard. It has taught me to persevere and it has taught me to push through to the end, uh, no matter the circumstances. And I think if you're ready for a challenge and you're ready to put your heart into something great and it's something unique and something that not many teenagers do, I think it is definitely the sport for you. Yeah, good words of advice. Hey. Nice. Well, yeah. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good job. All right.